Welcome to Team Babylonia's demonstration of the archaeological method. In this performance, we will explain and show the five important steps to this method in order for it to be successful. Step one, background research. Step two, the excavation process. Step three, analysis of the findings. Step four, publication. And step five, preservation. The first step to the successful process is background research. In this step, we look for information to help prepare for the excavation process. There are three questions we must ask. What are you looking for, where is it, and what should you bring? We are going to Babylon, located in Iraq, on the eastern bank of the Euphrates River. We are looking for some type of writing, possibly on a piece of clay or stone. Uh, we are also hoping to find some sort of brick. On this trip, we need to make sure we bring summer clothing and lots of water, because on this trip, it will be very hot and sunny. During this step, the digging takes place. As you can see, my team behind me is digging. Let's see what they have found. Michaela seems like she just dug up a clay tablet and a brick. James just found a document in some kind, kind of bronze horse. The last of my, the last of my team, Emily, has just dug up what looks like a playing card and a piece of a boat. Oh. Hi, my name is Michaela, the anthropologist. I do the analysis of findings. When you analyze, you find it is important to ask these four questions. What is it? How old is it? What is its purpose? And did they make it or trade it? One of the artifacts I found is a clay tablet, which I found to be from 2200 BCE, before the Common Era. Cal, what is the purpose of your artifact? I found a piece of metal. I think the purpose of this artifact is trying to like the day, modern day $100 bill. Maybe they used it as a form of early age money. Did they make or trade your artifact, Emily? I believe they made the boat around time. My theory is they lived on the bank of the Euphrates River and needed something to help move boats. Thanks, guys. Hi, my name is Cal, and after the MRS process, we must publicize our findings. We share our theories about the artifacts so we may help other archaeologists to conclude, the figure, conclude and figure out information to their findings. We will create documents about our findings in order to do this. Now that we have excavated, analyzed, and publicized our findings, we are on to preservation. In this step of the arch this is the last step of the archaeological method. In this step, we will put our findings in the appropriate conditions to be preserved. Here's Cal on preservation. Cal, what method are you using to preserve this brick? I will be wrapping it in special cloth so it won't crack and will not and will store it in low humidity and oxygen conditions so it won't decompose. As you can see, the rest of my team is using similar methods to mine. Take Nick, for example. He will be storing that paper in low, humid, low light humidity and oxygen, so the document will not decompose. Tell me, Kel, why are you preserving these artifacts? We are preserving these artifacts for future technology we'll be able to observe and find out more information about these artifacts. Thank you for your time. My pleasure.